my name's Paul Newman and I'm the BP Professor of Information Engineering here at the University of Oxford and I'm leaning on Robot Car, which is one of our projects. I lead the Mobile Robotics Group and that group is focused on large-scale robotics projects. So we're interested in machines that using only onboard sensors like cameras and lasers can understand their environment navigate through that environment and crucially do some important things for us and one sort of standout application for that technology would be cars that can drive themselves now we're interested in cars that can drive themselves some of the time in some of the places for some of the people not necessarily immediate complete autonomy that's definitely going to happen i mean we're not condemned to a future of congestion time wasting and broken limbs that that's obvious nonsense okay Oh, something that hasn't really happened is computing really getting with transport yet and modern robotics is, let's be serious, mostly about computing and processing sensor data that comes from things like this laser and down here there's a single laser tucked underneath the car and, and this car itself can drive itself some of the time just using that laser. Now we're moving towards doing navigation just using cameras as well. So you can see on the top here, well normally the cameras would be sequestered away. We've got them exposed here because of some of the recent experimentation we're doing. There's a little camera there and you can imagine machines driving around on our roads using knowledge they have of what the world should look like because cars have been through there before. Um, navigating on your behalf. We like the model of you spend the extra grand on your car and it's a, it's a fancy car in, in because it can drive itself and so you're driving home some of the time and a little green light comes on after a while and it says if you like I could drive this traffic jam for you and you go yeah I would like you to do that now why can it drive that traffic jam because it knows the environment it's been through there before it has an internal model of what the world should look like and it says well for this traffic jam I can drive you and your insurance is going to go down by 9p and you go yeah and you do something useful for that amount of time but if it's terrible weather or there's a ton of new potholes or the driving's crazy that little green light doesn't come on because autonomy is not offered so that's, a, that's an interesting model. Thank you.